Welcome back to the channel everybody. Jeff here with Solidity Repository. Today we've got an episode on Base Chain. For those of you who don't know, Base Chain is a Coinbase incubated Ethereum layer 2 chain. And during this bull run, there's been many meme coins and DeFi tokens that have been absolutely exploding in price action over there. And it seems to be the hot spot for DeFi enthusiasts. So a lot of our users have been sending me DMs and comments wanting to know, Hey Jeff, how can I get in on the action over on BaseChain? How can I earn money on BaseChain? And Jeff, how can I create an arbitrage contract over on BaseChain? So I've decided to go ahead and give you guys the exact content that you want. So today we are going to learn how to create and deploy your very own arbitrage smart contract on BaseChain. This is going to be a beginner friendly tutorial so I'm going to walk you guys through it step by step exactly how to bridge your Ethereum over from layer 1 over to base chain as well as how to code and deploy your very own arbitrage script and I will be walking you guys through this process step by step. So without further ado, let's dive right into the content. Before we go any further into the tutorial, I just want to brush up on a topic really quick. So a lot of our users have been asking me if they can use Phantom Wallet for this tutorial and other tutorials that I make. Typically I would say yes, but considering this is an Ethereum Layer 2 chain, it is not currently supported by Phantom Wallet. That is why I would recommend using only MetaMask for this tutorial. Alright Solidity family, I just want to point out that I am performing this tutorial on a Windows desktop PC. However, you may choose to use any operating system platform that you wish, as long as it allows access to the tools required and mentioned in this video. So, first things first, you will need a Web3 compatible internet browser. I prefer to use Google Chrome, as you can see here. Next, you will need a browser extension based wallet that supports the blockchain that we will be working with in this tutorial, which is BaseChain. Again, as I mentioned in the introduction, I recommend MetaMask. Simply because Phantom Wallet does not currently support this Ethereum L2 chain, and MetaMask is simply so much more functional than Coinbase Wallet. So I will be using MetaMask. If you currently do not have MetaMask, you can head over to their official website at metamask.io, or you can find the official link to their website in this video description down below. Once you have MetaMask installed and it is set up, you will find it over here in your browser extension tab. And next, we will need to add BaseChain to the recognized network list in MetaMask. So as you can see here, we have Base Mainnet. But if you do not see it in this list, you will need to select Add Network. And typically, it should be here in this list, and you can just add it easily. However, I have already added it. So if you do not see it here, you will need to click add a network manually and it requires us to fill out some fields. So I will post a quick guide on how to do this in the video description down below. And the quick guide is from the official base website. So as you can see, using base with your wallet. And as we scroll down here, MetaMask to add base as a custom network in MetaMask and here it gives us all the information and values that we need to enter in order to add base chain. So also if this is your first time using base chain you will need to bridge your layer 1 Ethereum over to base chain layer 2 using their official bridge on the base chain website. As you can see here in my MetaMask extension I have already bridged my Ethereum over from Ethereum mainnet to the layer 2 chain and I have 1.02 Ethereum. However, I will still walk you through this process. So again, we want to head over to the official base chain website at base.org and then we want to click on the bridge button at the top here. So once we click the bridge button at the top, the first step is going to be to connect your wallet in order to transfer from Ethereum to base. So we're going to click connect wallet and then MetaMask. <clears throat> and then as we can see here, it's going to switch our network to Ethereum mainnet. 
So now this is the point where we would enter how much Ethereum we want to bridge over. And for this tutorial, I recommend using a minimum of one Ethereum simply because there's a lot of network fees, slippage, burn fees, and network congestion. So we want to be able to overcome those with our arbitrage contract because it is a very heavy script. So I would recommend one Ethereum and then you press deposit F. Now this process typically takes a few minutes and when I bridged over this Ethereum earlier to the layer two chain, it took approximately five minutes for me not very long. So once that's complete we're ready to start coding. So now that we're ready to start coding we will need a coding IDE or a code editor that allows us to code in the Solidity language. So for those of you who are new to the channel Solidity is the native coding language of the Ethereum network. For this we will use a simple browser-based application called Remix. So we will need to head over to remix.ethereum.org and please make sure you are on the official link only. I will post a link in the video description down below. So first things first, there is going to be a couple of pop-up windows here on remix.ethereum.org and we are going to accept, help us improve Remix IDE and the next is going to ask us how we will be using Remix. So we are going to be using it for developing projects using Remix as our main development tool. So once we have selected this, the first step in the process is we are going to need to create a new file in order to create our arbitrage smart contract. So we can do this by heading over to the left hand side and selecting create new file. So when selecting our name, let's keep it simple. I'm going to name mine bot dot sol dot sol indicates that it is a solidity file extension meaning that we are coding in the ethereum language of solidity so then we will press enter once we have it named and it will bring up a blank code file for us here now in the video description down below i have pasted a code repository which contains the arbitrage smart contract code that you will need to paste in remix.ethereum.org in order to get it up and running so here we can see the code repository, so we will copy and next we will head back over to remix.ethereum.org and we will paste our code. So Remix lets us know that there is a pasted code alert, so again I just want to point out that you guys should always only use code from trusted sources such as myself or other official Ethereum developers. So. Now that that is out of the way and we have all of this entered, we can see our code here. And now there are just a quick couple of things that I want to mention within the code. So as we can see here, as we scroll down, uh, it essentially will target a token. So token one will be the value of target one and target token two will be the value of target two, which will always be wrapped Ethereum on the base chain. So as we can see here as well in lines 63 and 64, the input token address and the wrapped Ethereum token address meets the token address for wrapped Ethereum on base chain. So if we quickly just copy this input right here, and then we head over to the base chain block explorer, which is basescan.org, this is very similar to etherscan.org and it allows you to search the blockchain for any transactions. So we will paste that contract address here that we found within our arbitrage script and we can see here that it is the contract address for wrapped Ethereum, wrapped Ether. So there is currently $321 million of wrapped Ethereum and there is over 90,000 in there and as we can see this is clearly the router with many transactions of wrapped Ethereum so we know that our transactions are being routed properly. Excellent. So the next step in this process is we need to head over and we need to compile our contract in the Solidity compiler. So once we head over here to the Solidity compiler tab 
we are going to need to select the compiler version that matches our contract version up top here. So as we can see, this contract was compiled in Solidity 0.6.6. .6. So we will need to select 0.6.6 .6 from the drop-down menu as seen here. Next, in order to optimize gas fees so that we get the cheapest possible price when deploying such a data-intensive contract, we will need to select Advanced Configurations tab here in the deployer. So, next we are going to select Enable Optimizations, and what this will do is it will let our compiler enable any sort of gas optimizations that are possible for this smart contract and allow it to run as smoothly as possible. The next step is going to be to compile bot.sol. So, once we've selected that, if our compilation was successful, you will see over here in the Solidity Compiler tab a green check mark letting us know that our compilation was successful. Once we click on this Deploy and Run Transactions tab, the first step we are going to need to undertake is we are going to need to select our deployment environment. So what this will do is it will ensure that we are going to be deploying on base mainnet and that our smart contract will be injected in the right location. So we will need to select Injected Provider MetaMask from the drop-down menu as shown. So as we can see here now, our account is connected and my D69F wallet with 1.02 Ethereum is connected. And just to confirm here, yep, arbitrage script is connected. And we want to ensure that we are on the base mainnet here in the drop-down menu. That is base mainnet. So now that we have ensured that we are on the base mainnet, the next step is to ensure that in the contract drop-down we are on base arbitrage v2 bot.sol. And EVM version is Istanbul, that's fine, you can leave that alone. So as you can see, we cannot deploy just yet. It says input required, so we must select this drop-down menu here. And in this drop-down menu, there are three steps we must take before deployment. We must enter our deployer wallet address. This is the wallet address which we deployed our smart contract from originally. So this enables our smart contract to return profits back to your original wallet once you have stopped the smart contract. So what we will do in order to enter this is we will open our MetaMask browser extension and we see our wallet address up here. So we will copy to clipboard and we will paste here. Next, we need to select a target token for the arbitrage contract to work on. So I'm going to select a meme coin. So we will head over to dextools.io and launch app. Now we are going to select the all chains here and select base chain. Now I recommend selecting a token with a high amount of volatility as this is going to allow your arbitrage smart contract to have a lot of transactions in the ordering mempool to be able to work with, to be able to earn you profit. So now that we are here, I'm going to select PAT token as it seems to be a very popular token today, up 19,000%. Now you can use any token you choose, including uh, USDT or any other stable coin or any other meme token you want but as we can see this token launched less than 24 hours ago and there is a lot of volatility and a lot of active liquidity almost 800,000 American dollars so this seems like a good pair for us to begin our arbitrage smart contract on so in order to get our contract address that we need to enter into our target field, we will select view contract here. And this will bring us to base scan for PAT token. And as we can see here under the contract section, it provides us with the contract address.
So if we click that, that brings us to the PAT contract. So what we are going to do then is we are going to copy address to clipboard. Make sure this is for our PAT token. Again, you can use whatever token that you like. This is just the one I'm using. And we must paste that here. So now that we have our original deployer wallet and our target wallet entered, the next thing we will have to do is we will have to enter our chain so that our smart contract transact on base mainnet only. So here we will need to enter BASE for base. And now we should be good to transact. Okay, I'm going to click transact now. And it wants us to pay an 18 cent gas fee for contract deployment. Click confirm. Uh, creation of base arbitrage V2 pending as we can see. And it has now successfully created our smart contract over here. And we can now click the drop down menu below. <clears throat> so as we can see here, there are three red function buttons which we will need in order to run our arbitrage smart contract. So the start function, after we have sent our liquidity collateral to our smart contract in order for it to be able to transact within the mempool, we will press start in order for it to begin its transactions. And when we are satisfied with its progression, we will press the stop function in order to stop the smart contract and then we will press the withdrawal function finally, and this will withdraw our initial liquidity plus profits back to our original deployer wallet. And again, you can just quickly verify your original deployer wallet here and ensure that this indeed matches 769F, 769F. That's excellent. So <clears throat> again, just to verify here, we can press the copy button. This is the next step to press the copy button. And this will copy the smart contract address that we just created. So we're going to head on back over to base scan and just verify the contract address that you just copied. So as you can see here, our contract has been created successfully. So the next step in remix.ethereum.org is going to be to fund our smart contract with enough liquidity collateral in order for it to transact. Again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I recommend at least one Ethereum for this, as this will help cover any potential gas, burn, or slippage fees, as well as any network congestion while running such an intense protocol on the base chain mainnet. So let's start with this process. You will need to fund your contract address that you created. So again, you need to copy that here. Copy. And we need to head over to our MetaMask and click Send. And again, we want to ensure to paste the exact address that you copied over here. And we want to send one Ethereum. Now that we are sending our one Ethereum, we will click next. And this is letting us know that this is a smart contract interaction and we will click confirm. Contract interaction pending. Excellent. All right, confirmed. So the next step in the process is we will just need to quickly verify that as we can see here, our balance is one Ethereum in our smart contract. But again, we can just quickly head on over to our smart contract that we created again on base scan and just refresh the page. So as we can see here, we have successfully funded our smart contract with the 1.0 Ethereum that has been requested. So now I believe we are ready to start our smart contract. So let's head over here and we will press the start button on remix.ethereum.org. And this will cost a small gas fee and we will press confirm. Okay, now that we have confirmed that transaction, 
we're going to just wait a little while and let our smart contract transact and see how it feels around in the network. Oh, great, there we go. Transaction has been confirmed and it is started. So we will just let this run for a few seconds essentially and then we will stop our smart contract. So we will count to 5, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. We'll press stop and this will make us pay another gas fee. Confirm stop. All right, it has stopped. And next we will withdraw to our wallet. See what kind of profit we've earned. So we've enacted our withdrawal. Awesome. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and check out and see exactly what kind of profit we've earned. Now that our withdrawal has been activated, we can go ahead and check out exactly what kind of profits we've made. Whoa! And just like that, we see the quick profit. So, we put in an initial of 1.02 Ethereum liquidity on base chain. And we ran this for approximately 5 to 10 seconds. And now we have 1.4956. So, this netted us approximately a 0 0.4. 47 Ethereum profit in less than five minutes. This is a 50% return in less than five minutes. This is absolutely insane. In my opinion, this is the best way to capitalize on this bull run. Wow, wow, wow. Base arbitrage V2 withdrawal. 1.4956. Wow, I can't believe it. That's excellent. So typically, guys, I've been running one to two of these flash loans a day. Uh, this arbitrage technique has been very profitable thus far. Um, feel free to run it as much as you like. However, again, times of market volatility seem to be the best for running it. Uh, typically around uh, stock market open and any major crypto news is a great time to run an arbitrage contract. So hopefully this video helped you guys and uh, if there's any other questions you guys have related to the tutorial, please feel free to let me know in the comments section down below. And as always, all feedback is appreciated. And one last thing I just want to quickly mention before I go, if you folks ever want to continue to run your arbitrage contract from the same contract address, or let's just say you accidentally close out your remix.ethereum.org instance, and this is no longer here. We can reload that. So for instance, I'll just copy it and I'll uh, remove it. So as we can see now, our contract is gone, but I can reload contract from address here in the at address field. So you can paste your contract address there, and press at address and again your contract will reopen so again guys very quick tutorial on how to earn 50 percent profit in less than five minutes almost two thousand dollars american i think we earned about eighteen hundred dollars in five minutes or less so again if you like the video please like comment and subscribe to the channel and be sure to follow me over on x.com and have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, after you finish watching this video, be sure to head down to the video description down below to enter our Ethereum giveaway. Winners selected every month. We're giving away one Ethereum to five lucky subscribers. So that's five Ethereum giveaway total. One Ethereum to five lucky subscribers. Enter now. So as you guys can see for yourselves, the proof is in the pudding. This is hands down the easiest way to earn money during the craze on base chain right now. I've been using this method over and over and over for the last week non-stop, and I haven't stopped earning. This is literally a free glitch. It's insane. So that's why I wanted to share this tutorial with you guys. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow me over on x.com slash Jeff Solidity. That's x.com slash Jeff Solidity. Thank you very much. And don't forget to enter our Ethereum giveaway in the description down below.